What do you got there, Chico? Uh huh. I got some beauties. Look at these nice. Look at these nice. It's been a couple beauty. days since we made a, made a video, but we're back we're out. We're back at it. With the, the old Chief, Chief Meister. Back. I'll get my hat on in a minute. Memorialize. Chief catching sardines? Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. They're nice little ones, too. You know what that means, though. We're about to leave. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Dan on, Dan on a single piece here. You know me. I don't know how I feel about it. Come on, bite. Oh, oh Chief, are you in free school letting it down? I'm trying to let it down. Oh, oh Dan, strongest. Oh, oh, add them on. Happens to the best of us. Wow. Chief, that is, Sorry. you're looking real <laughs> greedy right now. <laughs> I can see your single it. sardine about yeah, to get Benita. Oh, they're, oh, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. Oh, 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 they're <laughs> tornadoing you. Oh my God, you willed them in. <laughs> Now it's all about the nice, slow, steady pull for the tornado. That's the way we do it. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't seen us fish a live sardine, oh, look at the on the bottom. I'm sorry for you. And you're going to find out why they're so important. You guys are always getting mad lately that I say esk so much. So I'm going to try it. Stop my best to not say it. What are you trying to say? People in the comments. Yeah, Mike are... said that in his sermon the other day. I heard it. What do you say? Ask. Yes. Chief, look at him on you. This petite. I'm really enjoying watching you catch sardines. <laughs> I am. I really am. Beautiful. Number six lead, double rig. Dealing them. Dan's got them on. Oh. Get that one off the back deck. We've had a lot of tide. And it looks like we got a little bit of north tide in here. We do have some, Chief. Yeah. We should have good tide offshore. Hopefully anchor up, catch some muttons. I had to leave Chief out here solo yesterday on the grind to go kingfish. Yeah, I had a kingfish. I'm still a little bitter about it. He is. I forgave about him. A little He's salty. I'm a Christian. I forgive him. A man of forgiveness himself. <laughs> been doing a little bit of king fishing haven't been able to film it but that's why we haven't been posting oh, sorry but oh my god they are tornado. tornadoing you chief i can't believe i oh. can't believe oh my oh, god oh off. my god <laughs> anyways we're gonna get some good footage today i am going to real quick before we run offshore put put the gopro hook the gopro up so it's waterproof and send it down with chief sabiki so you can see the Tom Fuller that's going on down yonder. Oh, talk about a tornado shot, Chief. Yeah, more like it's meat right now. Just got out here, just set up. Just threw live bait while we were checking the tide. Yeah, he's laying all right. Look at this. I'm gonna lay up on something. I'm gonna spend a half hour. Oh, here. I don't know. Those are big head shakes. It's looking awful, Jackass. No, I'm being sharp. Oh. No? No, just pull the hook. Okay, I gotta get this line now. Alright, we're gonna anchor up, try and catch some snappers. Dan lost that fish. What do you think, Chief? Well, probably a big cobia. We'll say it is anyway. Sussy? I like your FL number rig. Yeah. Had to get it all legal. He had to. Free the old the old man. Good? We got a big anchor with a lot of chain. You gotta let out. We don't have smoking current today, so we're not gonna have to let out too much rope. When you have a lot more tide, you gotta let out a lot more scope. It's not too strong. We're about to see if we have, I think we have a little bit. Perfect the mutton amount. Wade, if you're watching at the house, Paige is catching more fish than you today. Well, actually, he will. A little shy rack deal. I got about 40 feet of 50 pound pink andy and then 60 j hook Oop, i got a little knot here chief i did hear whispers that cj left some j hooks on the boat is that true yeah, I, did. Well, I, 
I never thought I'd see that. But. What'd you say? I said, Jay, I like you taking care of me. He bought me some hooks. Chief's a little bit salty right now because I've been doing some king fishing. He but shunned me. Adam shunned me. My own flesh and blood shunned me. I never shun you. <laughs> Pitching this John out there. Some people might ask me who's John. Just a buddy of mine. Johnson. John Woolley, Johnson. Chief got his line set up. I'm set up. Ooh, nervous bait, nervous bait. Look at that. He's freaking out. Nice mountains looking at him. While we are waiting for a bite, I'm gonna rig up my other rod. This is my kingfish rod, eight foot Crowder, 20 to 50 pound, 30 Torium HG. Can't even tell anymore because this thing has seen a lot better days, but it still gets tight. Just gonna put a triple hook on here. Just fishing my main line, 40 pound leader. I'm not gonna put leader on it. And nose hook it, send it back there for a vagrant kingfish. Is it? Little mutton. Start today. Looks. You got, got an alma cut? Yeah. Little guy. Little guy. He's not gonna make it. Oh, you're tight, Dan. Put it down. There you go. Ah. Oh, it must be those little jacks. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, it didn't look very big. This one's not gonna make the cut. He's too small. We're pulling the hook. First spot sucked, one short mutton, a couple other raggedy bites. We got the ball on. Clean that off, man. Let it go, you pick it up. And you got him? Nope. No. I saw my guy. Like right here. He was there you go. Dan's got him on, Chief's got him on. Double up from the boys here. The bully boys. I guess they don't like me today. Talking about the fish, not Chief. And Chief. That's a snapper there, Chief. Oh. You look like you got a red snapper. Amber Eats came up. I give you a kiss on the Chief. Here, I'll here. Come on. Why is it? Oh, it's Amberini. Oh, a bunch of them down there. Yeah, I got Amberini. Oh, Amberini? Oh, nice one. Is that an Amberini or Jack? Uh, That's a Jack. This is an Amberini. That's an Amberini. Oh, I'm getting this. Oh, oh, damn it! Did you break uh, it off? Did you see him down there? I had a. I did see a couple of them. There was a couple of them, for sure. Is mine a Jack or an Amberini? Yours actually. is a Jack. It's a jack. I had an amarillo. Yeah. I saw him down there too. A lot of rudder fish just sent down the electric reel with a chicken rig on it. Dan, you got me when it gets close. Yeah, that's a tough one. I think we got a double here, boys. Oh, yeah. We got a double. Looks like a big rudder fish. Yep. You want me to rig my, yep, we should. My other bait got ate off too. That was a dead bait, Chief. Really? Yep. I put a, I cut up that bonita. Do we have that bonita? Yeah, we do. I put a live in a bonita. They'll eat the heck. Circle hook eater. So we're marking a bunch of banded rudder fish, and Chief has his snapper grouper permit. So legally, we're allowed to catch what? How many of these? 500 pounds or something yeah. crazy? Uh, we're not gonna catch that many today. Hopefully catch 100 pounds or so. It's a beauty. He, he is a beauty. Chief says he likes to eat them raw. No. That's probably one of the more suspect things he's ever said. He said a couple suspect things, okay. but got the Tanacom Daiwa electric reel, and I just have 80 pound mono chicken rig circle hook, and about two and a half feet down another one, and then a five pound lead. Dropping it down straight on the wreck or marking those fish halfway down as soon as we get to the bottom cranking up a bit And then they're right on it and usually if you guys have seen our past banded rudderfish videos that will be popping up right here Before sometimes you'll get them to the surface you'll hook one down deep 
and the whole school will come up and you'll just hand line them, fling them in the boat. That's an epic video, so go check that out right up there. But it might happen today, it might not. We're gonna grind it out, see what happens. Got him on. Oh, might have just had a double come up and he took a little bit longer. I was fishing two dead baits, so see what happens. Really? Oh, no, never mind. One nice one. They look like freaking Pacific kingfish. Don't they? Nice size ones. Eating the sardine. Eating the dead sardine. I leave the. Put a weight on there. What size weight on? I have a five ounce. But yeah, definitely go with the five. Just gonna have to grind it out here. Let me see. That's big. Here, there should be. I might be able to use my suspect weight, my PVC weight. That's five weight. Yeah. yeah. We got him on. Dan's got him on. I got him on. Lock down. Yeah, see, that was the mark for sure. Well, I didn't have a double. Nice. I got a singular. Nice one. Oh, good. 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 You got a double? Do you? Dan's got him on. Big double. Look at that one. Nice. A beauty. Beautiful. Yeah, we definitely just weren't in the school at first. Because they're biting, you know what I mean? It's like back oh, to yeah, back. It Chewing it up. Good job. Don't, don't get, uh, get baits back down. Do I? Yeah, I do. No, I'm not going to run it. We gotta use these electric reels because the sharks are really bad here. So we're forcing these fish to the top, but they're really pretty fish and they sell good. So very fresh. Cleaning them up. All right, Dan's got a wiggler. You got two wigglers? Oh, oh, one a wiggler. wiggler and a cut tail Dean. I got cut tail Dean and a greenie head. And you know what? It doesn't matter. Good? You marking them? Should be as soon as I stop it. Watch that. Got to it over. Come on, there he is. Oh, whacked it. Yeah, he hit it as soon as I got down. There you go. How deep are you? Yeah, you're good. Got him on. Come on, come on. And go well. Well done. That'd be really yeah, cool. yeah, I was about to just ask, thank you. I'm the Benita Chief. Uh -huh. I just had to make it wiggle a bit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we smoked the Benita. <laughs> Presentation is key. Damn, they have a double. Chifo, 
right away. Yep. I might, I might have had him pull him off. Yeah. All right, picking up the fish. I turned the GoPro off for a little bit. Caught another probably 20 fish. Hey, Chifo. One, two, three. Oh. Beautiful. We're probably going to do one more vat full, and then we're going to do a little slush in them. Get them really chilled. I don't know how much more I can show you guys of this madness. We've been dealing them for quite some time yeah. here. Dealing them. So hard, Paige got a nosebleed. Yeah, Dan elbowed Paige. Just kidding. Didn't happen. But look at them, just floating up. And then I put you guys right here. Look at Chief right here, trying to be a recreational jigger. Caught Chief in 4K, trying to be like Vic. Uh -huh. Get him, Chief. See, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Why in the heck will they eat that? Huh? Sam Tuckett, I don't know, I couldn't tell you. They're picky, they're not, they're not yeah, they are picky, they're only eating live baits now. I have one on two right now. My banana strip eater. <laughs> I just had to talk about it, I guess. Nice double. Dan, what do you got? Double? I just got a unit. Oh my gosh. They really do like the look like the California kingfish, they call them. Yellowtail? Yellowtail, sorry, I don't know. They call them kingfish or some joint, yeah, right? They do. We're whacking them right now. I think live, I had two on. Live bait's always key. You need like a bunch of broke here for Dan. He had to hand crank a double. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. That was the worst time for it to break. Gotta get back in the game. Ugh. Nice. You know me. I do know you, Dan. Big one, too. Nice one. Ugh. Ugh. Money. Just threw some more in. Probably one more bucket of water, Chief. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Okay, just slushed them. Yeah, yeah. Don't, the, hey, some some reason electric grill fishing is always a midday chew. I don't know why that is. I think I got a double. Panacoms are going to work today, baby. Be a double, be a daily double. Has to be, oh sure, oh sure. You saw me leave it down and get greedy, Chief. <laughs> Nice one. Look at that bottom one. Oh. No, the bottom one is a good one. Bonita eater. Bonita. Just hit bottom. Three, two, one. We're on. Oh, I miss him. Oh, he came back for the scraps. <laughs> Eat the beneath. <laughs> Eat the beneath, baby. Eat it. I'm being greedy. <laughs> Looking like a daily double. I don't know. I can't call it. It's hot out here. I need a sustenance break. Oh, Chief, let me close this. Oh, I got a daily. Did you see that raggedy piece of Benita strip too, Chief? Yeah. I had like nothing on there. That first bite though? I know. Well, I missed it like four times, but I guess that's still my deal. Did you get one or no? No. 
two little guys. Throw this one back. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Anacom is a star. Only reason we got tight today is because the, the Honda, Honda Classic bucket hat special. What happened here? What happened there? I don't know. Look at Paige, look at this, his Rigman John. Leave it right there, Chief. Here, smoke him for him. What happened to his Rigman John? That's raggedy. From the Honda. Fun. If I get a double on this raggedy bait, dude. No way. This is as easy as fishing gets, pretty much. It's not like this every day. So don't think you should come out here and do this every day because it's not at all. We don't get a lot of days like this. Keep eating, double again. Keep eating, no, no, no. Keep eating grapefruit and asking for waters. I don't know, I think we might have lost them. Now, you know when it's grapefruit prime, it's time for cheats or biting. They're biting. I don't know, Chief, I might be ballsy here and go with the squid. All right, so pretty much what happened is we were crushed in there for a second. I turned the GoPro off. You guys didn't see like an hour's worth of footage just because we're doing the same thing over and over. I don't know how much of it you guys want to really see. Anyways, we were getting them good. Tide slowed down and they stopped biting. Of course, it's something we had perfect tide when we were doing this. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it just slows down. But, yeah, let's go. We didn't do too shabby at all. Probably around 300 pounds. Box is looking right. Ready? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, we do. Ice cold. All the ice at the bottom, and you put water in, it brings it up. Good. Try to do a little bit of snapper fishing, might go in, we'll see. All right, boys and girls, that is it for the day. It is about two o'clock. We headed in. Tide completely shut off right when the tide slowed down. The bite shut off as well. It's usually how it goes. Never really had it happen like that in the middle of the day while we have nice tide. Just go from like good tide to nothing, kind of crazy. But conditions are always changing. Got them pretty good. Not too bad at all. Still a good day. We're gonna come in, get these fish to the truck, and then sell them to the slab, and then I'm hopping on another boat and going king fishing. You guys won't see that, but I might be back tomorrow night with John and Chief and Dan, do some king fishing. We'll see you at the dock. Yeah, we do. All right, we're gonna load these fish up into this vat then into the trash can then i'm wheeling them up to the truck and we'll show you the whole process but they're nice and cold pretty colors they, they get really pretty once they're cold. You got first one. Wow. I'm next. <laughs> yeah, the state of these tires, look at these things wiggling, dude. We need to do some serious work on these tires. Yeah, this process is less than ideal, I'll tell you that. And then, let alone that Dan's working, you get to occasionally step in Rambo's poop on the way. Thanks so much, Rambo. So, but, if you guys would like to purchase a new pair of glasses and don't have a glasses pair, or if you do, 
and you're not too confident in them, let me tell you what, these Ocean Eyes, they're money. You can use code ADAM10, save 10% off at checkout. I have a link down below. Go check them out, go browse the website, and it helps our channel. And go ahead and buy a shirt. I'll also have a link down below, movingawayfishing.com. lip right there and I go just like that and now we ice them up and then go do that again and that trash can full is just about 100 pounds so you guys get the process we're gonna ice them thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoyed the video like I said drop a like on it make sure you're subscribed make videos like this all the time that's all we got for you till next time moving weights out